Uh, story recap. All right, so we're basically doing a waster only colony. Okay, and I'm going to put only in air quotes. We have a few original wasters left. Braz is an original waster. Immortal and Az are our only three original wasters that we have left. But here's the thing. If you're doing a waster only colony, there's there's only a couple of... There's only two ways that you can... grow. Well, three ways you can grow the colony. One is by capturing wasters that get downed, but we weren't getting assaulted by any wasters at all. So we decided to go a second route, which was our colonists have babies. Problem is that the wasters have the unattractive trait. It's kind of difficult to get them to conceive babies on a regular basis. We tried it. It didn't really work. So we decided to go the route of basically, you know, taking the ovums from the ladies, choosing a male to spunk them in the spunkery, and then we would put the fertilized, those spunk ovums into the growth vats. And then we would grow uh, second and third generation wasters to join the colony. So um, basically everybody that you see here started their life as uh, somebody was whacking off into a Petri dish. Just to put it, just to put it plainly and use a little bit of medical terminology. Um, so we were, we were kind of doing three at a time. So like these three are the same age. These three are the same age. These ones kind of petered off because we started doing it two at a time after some of the ladies started to die and we didn't have three ovums that we could extract and then three non-incestuous spunk lords uh, to whack off into a petri dish. So the two that are standouts right now is Cameron, Kroby, Robertson, and Matthew. Matt Moulton. Hey, Rousey, how are you? This is the long, this probably is the longest run. That is true. That is true. So these two actually started out as gladiators because we are running a gladiator ring this run. And we also we, we have a, somebody that's 1-0 and in here. She is 1-0 and in the gladiator ring, if you guys uh, have forgotten. So we had these two competitors, and we had kind of decided that if any of our uh, ring of blood combatants could go 10-0, we would, we would inject them with a cocktail of drugs that would effectively make them wasters. We, they would have... Psychite dependency, wake up impervious, pollution uh, stimulus, anti, uh, total antitox lungs, etc., etc. So we had these two combatants. We had Kroby and we had Matt. These two folks here. Kroby was like the crowd favorite. He was the he was the one of the most winningest combatants in Ring of Blood history. Right? He defeated our former crowd favorite, Dream, who was an adorable little Mona with a heart of gold. Okay. She was 7-0. and oh. She got defeated by Krobe. He became the new reigning champion. Well, along comes Matt. Nope, Matt is still here, Rousey. Matt is still here. So along comes Matt. We put Krobe and Matt in the ring of blood, naked with their fists. They fight nearly to the death and they draw. We put them back in for a rematch. They fight nearly to the death with their fists. They draw. And we say, listen, we're going to put them in there. We're going to put them in there with some shivs. We put them in there. We give them shivs. They're like toothbrushes that have been filed down like they live in a prison. They fight it out. Draw. Let's rematch it with the shivs. We put them in there. They fight it out. They draw again. We're like, you know what? Fine. Fine. We're going to end this the old-fashioned way. We make two Arasaka military katanas. And we're like, there's just no way. There's just no way somebody's going to survive getting cut the fuck up with Arasaka technology military katanas. We put them in there. Guess what? Matt gets his arm cut off. We're like, we're going to put him back in there. There's no way Matt doesn't die missing an arm fighting Kroby in the ring of blood with Arasaka military katanas. The dude is missing an arm. He's going to take the fall this time for sure. You know what happens? Matt goes in there, gets his fucking leg cut off. He's got one arm. He's got one leg. And we're like, you know what? Let's put him in there one more time. There's no way Matt wins this duel missing one arm and one leg versus Kroby, the crowd favorite, the crowd champion, healthy as the day he was born. We put him in the ring of blood. Guess what happens? Matt gets his other leg cut off. Matt is missing an arm. He's missing two legs. He's bleeding out on the ground. 
and I look to the crowd. Is the crowd going to thumbs up Matt and let him live? Is the crowd going to thumbs down Matt and we're going to execute him? And it was at this point that we made the collective decision that not only did Kroby show the combat prowess required to join our elite military unit, but Matt showed the heart that it takes to join our family. So we put together a drug cocktail. We pumped them both full of jeans so that they would be impervious to the toxic waste, that they would get the pollution stimulus, that they would be reliant on the same psychite drugs that all of the other wasters do. And we made them full-fledged members of the team, and they could not be happier to be here. That's story thus far. Yeah, this is that's why I say this is a great run. That the whole thing, like honestly, this like dream when dream okay, and also dream skull is right here. I don't want to talk about her like she's not present, but like dream kicked the shit out of so many people. She was the Kroby of her time until she took the fall, and then we slit her throat and cut her head off and put her skull right here. Yeah. Matt was also told you may have to jerk it into a dirty, polluted dish. Well, you'll also notice, that's why Matt... That's why Matt uh, has an Arasaka cyber arm and two Arasaka cyber legs. All of these were cut off in the duels. He still has a scratch on his eyes. I may Lucy him. I may just Lucy him to kind of fix that. Crobe still healthy um everybody else is in pretty good shape here yeah but you you would have to well you could make two arguments hubby you maybe maybe crobe saw something in matt that we didn't at first we thought matt was just some fucking random right now the 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 thing that made these duels the most fun though is that they both had tough this is why neither of them would die this is why we had to escalate from fists to shivs to katanas so they both have the tough trait, and they both had uh, they both had melee, thirteen melee, twelve melee. They, they were so they were so evenly paired, but but Krobe just he he had a little bit on him.